Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new held Camaris Gore-Tex jacket available at Revzilla.com. To my left, I have Buzzsaw wearing the blacked out held Camaris Gore-Tex. Now, the beauty of this is that it is a two to three season really bomb-proof mesh. And one of the things that might not jump out at you is that some of the main panels here are actually Dynex mesh, which is a bomb-proof mesh. We've seen Revit use it in the past. It actually is extremely durable, flows a ton of air. So again, there's your summer weight, your summer weight coverage. You can see it's baked into a premium full-grain leather chassis. Now, behind that is a fully removable Gore-Tex Packlight liner. So this is where you take this to the next level. This is where it commands that north of $900 price tag. Yes, north of $900. This is an Apex Predator. Remember, you're getting the fully removable Gore-Tex, waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life. If you're sweating in it, you can perspire out through it. It's gonna be super breathable. That's the big difference between Gore-Tex and some of the other house brand waterproof breathable liners that other folks put out. Also note that the liner on this, the Gore-Tex liner is built in a way that can be worn as an oversuit. So I have my buzzsaw to my left in my Camaris jacket and the matching Rivero pants. They both have this setup. The removable Gore-Tex liner that you could start with it fully removed from, stow it, and then if you get caught in a cloudburst, bust it out, put your rain liner on top, put your liner on your pants, and then you're going to have the Gore-Tex as an oversuit. So again, great flexibility there. And again, they're going blacked out. In my opinion, this is more sport, sport touring, naked bike riding. You could rock this on a Harley. The fact that they went really subtle and almost Batman styled here, and the fact that it's a bit more of a generous cut, I'm going to call it a sport touring cut, not fully aggressive sport, gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, before I get into the sizing, let's talk about one other key call out here that's really going to, outside of the details, that I'm going to walk through, propel this into that next level. The nice part about the Camaris and the Rivero is they're both using the next generation held armor. And again, it's Sastec Cloverleaf armor, which means that it has better coverage, it's temperature stable, it now passes the new European CE2 rating for limb armor at shoulder, elbow, as well as knees. And you'll see it, this is a shoulder. No, our cameraman didn't wear, win first prize in the Bake Off. This is actually a right shoulder. And notice where previously you'd see armor that would be like that. Now you have full scapular protection. You can see how that works its way up towards my head. Again, it's asymmetrical armor. You're going to see it in the elbows as well. Fully molecular, though. Introduce that shock. It disperses the energy throughout the entire piece of armor. Energizing that crystalline lattice structure, it becomes rigid and disperses or lengthens that impact. And again, it's operating at a much higher level than we saw the previous level one safety standard. So again, this is a shoulder, you're gonna have elbows, and notice there, there is Velcro on them, and it's micro Velcro, it's a little bit of a different type of Velcro, we'll call it hook and loop, but that allows you to adjust it within the jacket, the pant, as well as the elbows as well. So you have a lot of flexibility there. Now. As you look at it, remember, bomb proof, two to three season, hot weather, black only, leather, and now you have Sastec Cloverleaf. Let's dive into the sizing. Buzzsaw to my left, six foot, 215, 46 inch chest. He's wearing a size extra large in the Camaris jacket. He's also wearing a size extra large in the pants. Now, I will tell you this. If you use the held size chart, it puts Buzzsaw here in a size double XL. We consider the Camaras to be fitting one full size large, so he went down to an extra large. Keep that in mind. Use the size chart and then go down a size if you want it to fit spot on. That is our recommendation. The pants are nice. They kind of fit spot on. He's wearing that extra, extra large. It matches up cleanly. But remember, too, the nice part about the pants, they come in short and tall sizes. They also have adjustable knees, so you have the ability to fine tune them, which is a great touch. You can get a good shot of this outfit, again, using all those same components from the waist down. Now, remember, if you're concerned about fit, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, you can click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the new Camaris or Rivero pants. We're happy to hear them there, give you some feedback, give you some answers to your questions. Now, diving in, we talked about the leather, we've talked about armor, we talked about this bomb-proof Dynex mesh on the front and the back, which carries that 500D abrasion rating, which is really, really rock-solid stuff. I'm gonna call this out too. Some folks out there in Heldland might not be super excited. This is really like the super technical granddad of something like the Revit 
Head Ignition 2, which is going to be waist length. It's um, not going to use Gore-Tex, not going to use that Sastec armor. This is really that more extreme version of that. If you're looking to not spend $900, you do have some other options in that $500 range. Now, some of the other nuances here, notice they really didn't spare any expense. Neoprene around the collar for comfort. Neodymium magnet, right? So it's a magnetic collar. It's never going to wear out on you. And it doesn't matter that there's no snapback because it's all mesh down the front. You're not going to be folding this guy and tightening up all the vents when you go into the cooler times of the year. When it starts to get cold, you're not wearing this. The air conditioning can't be turned off. You can put that waterproof liner, breathable Gore-Tex liner behind it, which is also wind blocking. But at some point, you're shedding heat because that air is getting directly through. Notice the reflectivity, hand warmer pockets. Notice the stretch panels along the insides of the arms. They have a slight pre-curve to them. What I really like about this too is that on the insides of the wrist, on that medial side, you're going to have more neoprene, which is a comfort feature. You have a big YKK zip that goes all the way down, nice, big, beefy, and bomb-proof. And the other thing to call out, actually, if we fold this back, is the way that they do their liner connection points are actually 360 degree. So you don't have to fumble with a couple different snaps or figure out where the buttons are gonna go. It's a 360 degree zip that goes all the way around. Now Buzzsaw, turn and face away from me. If we look at the shoulder, no questions here, no frills, extra layer of leather on top of your Sastec clover leaf, down to the elbow, elasticated panel working way into your elbow armor that goes all the way down. You can see that that Dynex mesh comes all the way up underneath the arm. And then along the side, down the back, they're getting a little sneaky on me here, but I like it. They've worked in some reflective into this pipe, but it's not reflective like you'd normally see, so it stays with the blacked out theme here. Again, they're not going over the top with it. Couple snaps at the bottom. Notice that it is a drop seat design. I consider this jacket to be hip length. That's why I'm calling it a little bit more more sport touring versus your normal sport fit. Now, Buzz, so I'll turn backwards for me. You can see from the back, my only gripe with this jacket is for over $900, Damn it, throw in the back protector. Held, if you're listening, I want a Sastec back protector to come stock. I'm making that investment, give me the full armor scent. Don't make me buy it separately. Somebody that's investing at this level surely wants the full breadth of potential. Put your protection, let them remove it later if they want. Outside of that though, Held logo, you have another reflective pipe working its way up to the top. Notice that neoprene goes all the way around. We talked about the back, but the big story here is big Dynex mesh panel, which again carries that full abrasion resistance, but allows it to flow air completely through. This is not your cheese mesh. This is not your Joe Rocket. This is not the type of mesh that's going to disintegrate upon impact. We first saw Dynex, in my opinion, I want to say seven years ago in something like the Revit Turbine. Now we've seen it permeate other super high-end goods, and it's exciting to see that Dynex pop up again here on the held Camaro. So you can even see it if you shoot all the way down past Ed's backside there, see that Dynex that goes all the way down the bottom side of the leg. Again, you get that full coverage. Come back around to the front. Let's open up the guts. So if Buzzsaw busts this open, right, I'm all kinds of alliteration today, you're going to see Napoleon Pocket on the inside. This is your Gore Pack Light liner. Notice it has the rain gutter. There's your waterproofing. And see the zips on the side? That's where you'd unzip it from. Go ahead and open that up, Buzzsaw. Ed's going to zip it down, premium zips throughout. See, here's that pack light lining. And notice it's designed and finished in a way that's easily going to go over the jacket as well. And notice you also have that nice fleece liner towards the top. And if we work our way that a direction, I'm going to unzip it. It's actually right. It should be up at the top. There we go. Top to bottom coming down. And Buzzsaw opens it up. Now you have the Coolmax mesh liner, which is nice. Held the only guy doing this at this point. They're using Coolmash, which is a helmet technology for liners. It wicks sweat. It keeps you cool. It has an evaporative cooling effect to it. They're using that on your mesh. So if you're wearing this without the liner, you're going to feel that against your skin. Notice too, the, the Held logo on this Gore Pack Light liner, it really is finished nicely. It's meant to go on top if you want to wear it there as your rain as as a basically a rain suit over top of the jacket and they finished it up has some light reflective as well notice neoprene for the cell phone pocket there you can run up and you have that fleece lining continuing all the way even into that neodymium magnet on the main collar connected to the outer shell of the jacket 360 degree zip so you can match it up with the Rivero pants which Ed is wearing on his own as well now keep in mind within the held line this is another one of those apex predators super over the top north of that $900 range Range. The next step in your journey, though, is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the new held Camaris and Rev Rivero pants at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.